Hi, it's Jonah, again. Um, yeah, I'm wearing the same clothes, it's the same day. Um, still awkwardly looking at myself and not the camera, which is on the other side now. Um, but I felt like I, I could give you a more detailed, like, introduction to me. Because obviously there's more to me than just a couple things that I can say in two minutes, so. Um, yeah, I'm from Nova Scotia. Uh, the weather here is kind of bipolar. Uh, some days it'll snow really, really heavy, and then the next day it's like summer outside, and you're like, whoa, it's summer outside. I don't talk like that. But then the next day it'll snow again. I can't believe I just talk like that. Um, yeah, bipolar weather. Uh, other than that, it's pretty nice out here, but really boring. Like, uh, we don't have much. Uh, the nearest mall is like 40 minutes away, and uh, even that, no no good stores. We got like the dollar store, Walmart, um, TELUS, where I got my phone. Thankfully, because if there was no phone store, I'd, I'd probably go nuts. Uh, can't live without my phone. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of trees around here. Seagulls. Um, I live in a fishing town, uh, so in the summer it smells really gross, but see, I don't notice that because I work at the crab plant. Uh, I scrape barnacles off of crab, if you know what barnacles are. They're like little white things, like shells, and uh, yeah, I scrape those off so the crab can be packaged and then uh, shipped off to the United States, or wherever they ship it. I'm pretty sure it's the States. Um, so yeah. That's what's going on around here. Uh, what do I do for fun? Well, when I was younger, I used to climb trees, follow them. I never broke a bone though. Uh, I sprained a few things. Um, like, uh, I might have broke a toe. Uh, I don't know though. It's hard to tell. Uh, yeah. Um, when I was younger, all uh, I only hung around with boys. And uh, we'd have crab apple wars. Um, we'd chase each other around with sticks. We were we were rough, but that's the way I liked it because I always felt like a guy. Um, ever since I was like about two or three, um, if I wanted to go in my little kiddie pool, I'd wear shorts and take off my shirt, and my grandmother would say, "No, no, you can't do that. You're a girl." And I'd be like, "No, no, I don't want to." And then, like as a kid, if I play house, I'd. Uh, I'd always want to be a guy, so I'd be like, no, don't give me a girl name, give me a guy name, because I'm the brother, I'm not the sister. Um, so yeah, I knew very early on that I, I wasn't a girl. Um, so it's not like I just woke up yesterday morning and I was like, yo, I'm going to be a guy today. No, it's not like that. I've always felt like a guy. Uh, I've tried to be a girl. I, I tried to date guys and I tried to grow my hair long and act girly and pretend I was into girly things but really I'm not and um, I, was, I got sick of trying to pretend I was somebody else and um, I want to live life the way I should so I can feel happy and not just make people happy because I'm sure it'd be a lot easier for my parents if I was a girly girl who like guys and whatever they expected but that's not how it's gonna be and they're either gonna love me for who I am or they're not gonna be in my life and I'm not saying it'll be easy to not have my parents in my life but I don't have a choice I am who I am and I know there's people out there that are always gonna love me for who I am and um, that's just the way it is. Uh, three years ago, I came out as um, first bisexual, and then um, later on lesbian. And it took my parents quite a while to get used to it, probably about a year, and then um, they accepted it. I mean, at first it wasn't easy at all. Uh, my dad got mad at my mom, and my mom was like, well, don't get mad at me, it's not my fault. And, just like blame game and then my mom was like well I don't understand why you like girls like it doesn't make any sense to me and I'm like well you like guys don't you and she's like yeah and I'm like well it's the same thing that's how I feel 
and um, she has a better understanding now, but I don't think she understands 100%. But for her to accept me, like, accept that I like girls, makes me feel a lot better. And uh, same with my dad, my stepmom. My stepdad's not too, I don't know, he doesn't like it, but, I mean, he doesn't say anything about it. So, that's good. And I live with my grandparents, and they're fine with it. I've had many girlfriends introduce them as my girlfriends, and, uh, yeah, they're okay with that. But I don't know how they're going to feel about me being transgender. Um, I don't know how I'd feel if I was in their situation. I'd probably be confused, because it is kind of a confusing thing to understand. Especially if you're not going through it yourself. Because most people just, they feel the way they should in their own bodies. I just don't. And I mean, I'm not the only person out there, obviously. There's lots of people. But as a straight person who is born into their right body, it must be hard to grasp the concept. Because you just, you don't deal with that. So, oh. Uh, I'm gonna eventually tell them, or they're gonna eventually find out, and then I'm gonna eventually explain, and I just said eventually a lot. Awkward. But, yeah. That's what's going on in my life. So, uh, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, I hope you can leave some comments, questions, and I'll answer them, because I've got nothing else to do. Work doesn't start for another month. Then I gotta go crabbing. So, thank you for watching.